Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and this is video number two for me today. We had a few releases come out for the Verizon Galaxy S3. This is release number 147 from Synergy. Yep, Echelon and the rest of the team have uh, completed the build for us and put it out, even though they're still working on other things. We were bitching and moaning about it too much, so they finally decided to stop where he's at, uh, build the ROM, and then he's going to continue working on it. So, what do we have so far? We have a lot of things. One thing is he did rebase this ROM off of the VRBL K3, Jelly Bean 4.1.1 over the air update from Verizon. Now it was not just kind of rebased, files moved over, boom, it's done. He has rebuilt the entire ROM and every application in it with the VRBL K3 baseband. So a lot of work went into making this thing done right instead of just half-assing it. So the new baseband, plus you have AOSP lock screen with the flashlight now on the AOSP lock screen, the updated Ziggy kernel with XFAT support. And one of the big things we have now is P-Droid. So first things first, let's go over to the settings and see what we're working with in About Phone. You see we're on Android 4.1.1, the VRBL K3 baseband. If you're not on the VRBL K3 baseband and you want to be, it's not the ROM's fault. It's your fault. You have to go download the modem and the RPM and flash it separately. Uh, we are running Ziggy's latest kernel, and we are in Synergy's Jelly Bean release number 147. So that's what it looks like there. Going out to the settings menu here, of course, I was just on Beans' ROM. So there was no color. It looked like AOSP. Synergy, he leaves the color in and keeps it kind of uh, touch whiz, stock touch whiz, Samsung looking. Um, you do have options in your lock screen now for the AOSP lock screen. So let's go there first. You see right there, enable AOSP lock screen and the lock screen torch as well. Uh, you do have options that you can play with down here. Let's enable the weather and see if that works as well. And we'll go back out to the lock screen. And we'll turn it on. And ta-da! We've got weather in the center. We've got an AOSP lock screen with options to unlock, go to messaging, go to search, go to phone, and go to camera. So that's all there waiting for us. And if you long press the home screen, you've got your flashlight. That's right, it works. And when you unlock, it will turn it off, which is pretty cool. So AOSP lock screen, big thumbs up. Flashlight toggle, big thumbs up as well. Now, let's go to the kernel here. We're talking about Ziggy's kernel. It's his latest up-to-date kernel that they put in here. You can overclock to 1.9 gigahertz and go down to 384 megahertz. You cannot play with any voltages like you can on lean kernel. Uh, that is your own personal preference on which kernel that you want to use as long as you're using a Jelly Bean TouchWiz kernel. So um, that's what the kernel's like. Uh, and let's check out P-Droid. Now, P-Droid, if you didn't know, it's a, uh, a way for you to choose which person permissions the apps have in the background, like say Maps for instance. Maps is always running something in the background. Well with PDroid you can go in and you can choose which permissions it does have and which ones it doesn't instead of allowing all or none like we've been able to up until now. So there are still a few things they're working out but overall PDroid is working quite fine on Synergy. Now this is what happens. They had to integrate the framework inside of the ROM. Okay, so when you normally have to install, from what I understand, you download the framework, you download the application, and you somehow get it into the ROM that you're on. Well, they fully integrated the PDroid framework into Synergy so that it will work almost flawlessly. I haven't found anything that it's messed with yet, but I haven't really used it much yet. So once you uh, flash the ROM, you're going to boot up. You will not see a PDroid application. Your framework is there, but you're going to have to go to Trevi's uh, forum and actually download the PDroid Manager application to which you can go into and you have your list of applications of things and permissions that you can change. One I like to go to is like I just said maps. Um, so let's go down to maps and see all the wonderful permissions that it has. There we go. These are all the permissions that it has. So you can choose whether to allow them or not allow them or ask you before it allows them, um, but those are all the different things you can play with, and it goes for all the apps that you have on your phone. So that is what PDroid is. You do have the framework, but you must install the application, the PDroid Manager. You can go to Trevi's uh, thread straight from the OP of Synergy to get there and download it for free. Okay, so those are some of the big things that are added into the latest build from uh, Echelon and Team Synergy. You can see the toggles are nice and blue, which I love very much. You have your brightness slider as well. It does say Synergy ROM down here, which I thought was pretty cool. Checking on the Google Now. Google Now is working great. It's showing my 
traffic and showing my weather and all the good stuff that I have on there. No problems with that. Let's go to GPS and make sure that that's working good. Uh, I am inside of a building right now, so it might not lock on as fast or as much as it would out under a uh, bare sky, but I do have 12 out of 18 pretty quick, so definitely GPS is working. Now, is GPS showing me in the right location? We'll check that with Google Maps real quick and see. And there it is. It does show me at work, so it definitely is showing me in the right place, not five miles off like it has uh, in the past. And I always like to double-check that just to see, okay? Uh, other than that, it's a it's a pretty great ROM. It's based, like I said, off of the new VRBLK3 baseband. Um, I did choose this wallpaper because in a lot of places in the country, there's snow, including in my house. Uh, and so I figured a nice, warm, tropical wallpaper might warm me up while you're watching my videos. So uh, You do have the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 camera and gallery, and also the 4.2 camera in gallery. Now, I'm not sure if that's included. It was there when I booted it up, but I normally flash it in my ROM, so it could be just left over. I did do a full wipe. I wiped everything, so chances are it probably was included in the ROM. So you get both of those cameras to play around with. I apologize for my voice. It seems to be going out. I'm not sick, but it seems like my voice is sick. So uh, once again, I apologize. But a great ROM overall. Definitely worth the... Uh, whoa, whoa. Craziness. What's going on? Uh, definitely we're trying and playing with. Uh, it is the latest from Synergy, release number 147. There you go. It caught up to itself finally. Release number 147 for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Very smooth, very fast. No problems with it whatsoever that I found. Have fun with P-Droid. Just be careful when you're using P-Droid. You don't mess up any of the permissions you need for your phone to work. And uh, other than that, definitely check out some of my other videos over at Android University, YouTube.com. If you want to see the uh, ROM before you flash it, my channel is the place to go. I stay up to date with the latest and greatest for the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3. Well, thanks for watching today. My name is Hobart. This is Synergy, release number 147. Have fun with it, and I'll talk to you later.